just came in with my roll cage or more like a roll bar however you guys want to call it to play my auto power this is the uh, sunroof edition one so if you have a sunroof this will fit if you don't it'll fit either one but pretty much an install on how we're going to go ahead and install this so far we haven't done any prep work but i can tell you that we're missing bolts just by looking at whatever came in with it so if you guys are planning on doing this to your car pretty much we're going to go ahead and do a little walkthrough as far as what needs to be done in order to get this installed we are doing the bolt on it's not welded i know so some of you even say but hey that's how it came and that's what it's meant for it's for bolting on so we're gonna go ahead and do that and bolt it onto the bottom of the frame of the car so yeah so to get started we're gonna go ahead and remove both seats there's a total of four bolts on this one one then two down there and then there's two in the front one on that side and the other one down here once we remove those there's a connector on the bottom it's a pull connector you pull the big tab on it and it unplugs and then you can take the whole seat out we're gonna do that that way we can like slide the roll cage in through here open this door like this slide the roll cage in this way and kind of like move it around and adjust it so we can fully put it in and yeah so that's what we're gonna do right now and stay tuned 15 millimeter socket go ahead um i'm using a deep socket for these but the ones in the back corner like this is a driver's seat the ones in the back corner back here you'll need a smaller socket more like this deep just because it'll hit the seat itself but pretty much once you remove the bolt on the last one i don't know if you guys can see but there's a connector down there they have to unplug i'll show you guys real quick how to do it and you see this is the harness here and what you want to do i stick my screwdriver in here and i kind of just like did this to it and it just popped where you can fully do this and disengage it <laughs> then you just pull the connector and that's it now the seat's completely ready to remove be removed all right guys so quick tip make sure the rails make sure you scoot the seat all the way forward before you pull it out now that the seats are out that's pretty much what you're left with now the tricky part is trying to get the, the whole rail in here we'll, we'll see how we get it in but uh, i'm assuming the mounting points are going to be down here in the corners that the farthest corners have the little indentation but we also got to go ahead and remove all these panels and pretty much i believe it bolts onto here i don't know if we had to remove the panels but we might have to we'll see all right guys so kind of what we had to do to get this fucking thing in was we had to come in from this passenger door rear right passenger door passenger door bring it in rotate it have the leg come out of this door almost slide it all the way to the back and adjust it and then stand it up that's kind of how it sits right now it was a pain in the ass trust me we tried a lot of different methods and that was the only method we could get it in uh the back because we have the strut bar of course we couldn't use the back that much because we can't we don't have that much room we could have removed it but we try to make it work without having to adjust that right now the issue we're having now is trying to get these fuckers to fit there's they smack onto this quarter panel here so we're gonna go ahead and remove that we went ahead and removed the quarter panel here you got to take this top one and then there's a little screw that comes up here the little white marks that it's like a little tab you pull that off then you can take this off and this just unbolts very easy just pull it and it unbolts and then this one here the one that sits along this side you got to take the one that sits here which is like a little cup holder take that one off first pull it up from here and then here and then once it's all loose you could yank it off which is a little screw here and then the rest, there's a little screw that's here. 
that you need to take off. And then there's like another screw here where the, where the cover sits. So like this one here that goes here like that. You have to remove this screw and there's one at the bottom down here. And they got to take off. And then you pull it out by pushing outward like this. Like that. And then it'll pretty much come out. And then get all this exposed. You want to pull off that wiring harness. And then the only thing you got to do different is there's a stud right there. That's for the wiring harness right here. What you got to do is you got to pull this back and you got to cut that off or grind it off in order for, it to, in order for the bar to sit flush with it. So we just got done cutting that and that's where we're at. Next thing we're gonna do is fit everything together and go to Ace Hardware. Cause they didn't send me all the bolts and then start drilling. And then hopefully with that, that'll be done and ready to go. All right guys, so we just jacked up the, jacked up the car, pulled the wheel wall off a little bit. We have this side lined up, lined up, semi bolted on, you know, it's still loose. And we went ahead and drilled the first bottom hole. And as you can see down here, bottom hole. So what you guys want to do is take your bracket, like this, since we drilled the bottom hole, bottom hole goes in first. And then based off whatever configuration this looks like, so it's on the right, just like this. We'll push it up like this with a washer under here and semi bolt it on and then drill out the other two holes and then officially just bolt this whole thing on there. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Here it goes. So there it sticks out, put the nut on it. Cool, all right, you can let go. All right, so now that the nut's on there, Brackets down there. I'll go ahead and drill up the other two holes and mount everything up to there and then drill the holes out. All right, guys. Um, great apologies. Didn't record most of a lot of it. It's honestly a, it's a bitch and a half to get this installed, especially if it's your first time. But I'll kind of show you exactly everything we've done. So, from last we left off was. We're drilling holes here. Well, you can't see them anymore because I cut this out, but we drilled the holes, put the hardware, put that bracket it came with. Same thing with down on the bottom. Um, if you look down there, there's a cover. When you remove that little cover, there's this little stud that sticks out. You could either keep the stud or remove the stud. I kept it just because I want to keep that splash guard under it. I cut another hole in the mounting bracket just so that little stud can come out and I could still clamp on that splash guard on the bottom. And with that being said, put the bracket, the stud came out and I was able to put the splash guard on it. And I fed the bolts out of the bottom to the top, as you can see down there. And then that's pretty self-explanatory. And then before putting all the covers on, I mean, this is your opinion option if you want, but I decided to cut mine out just to have the bar come out. I don't want to have any exposed wires or exposed blue a lot of too much exposed exposed blue out there so it gave it a nice cool finish and then after that everything's pretty much just bolting everything down make sure everything's tight right right at the very end everything gotta tighten everything down this, this thing ain't going nowhere literally and bolted back the driver's seat i haven't done the passenger seat yet that's pretty much left is just the passenger seat to bolt in and pick everything up and then vacuum everything because there's a bunch of little metal pieces all over the carpet but we'll do that later and yeah it, it looks clean as fuck i personally liked it install wasn't too too bad but install wasn't too easy either so if you guys have any questions hit me up on Instagram at slowest or hit me up in the comments below and I'll get back to you guys till next time. Peace.